Well, we kick off the World Grand Prix here at KLK 53rd edition in Kishio, Moldova in the ladies division. I think it's the most rapidly developing division here in King of Kings. And in my opinion, one of the most, if not the most exciting division in the entire company, Daria Puntus of Russia. Making her way out to ringside here is the 24 year old has a very solid record of five and two and has a strong Muay Thai background. Well, a familiar face to the women's division. The original fighter, actually, from the women's division, Nadezda Kantir, 25 years old, from right here in Kishnyal. Got a big fan following, a lot of supporters in attendance here tonight. She was one of the participants in the very first ever Women's World Grand Prix. She ended up making it to the finals before losing a very, very close split decision to the reigning champion, Esma Hashas. -Has. And she's looking to get herself back in contention for that title. That is, as soon as Hashas -Has heals from her injuries. She was in a, a, a very serious car accident, but I guess she is on the road to recovery and should be making a return to KOK in 2018. Kansir would like nothing more than to get her hands on Hasas -Has once again. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner. 24 years old, official height 170 centimeter, official weight 51 kilogram, personal record, five wins, two losses. Participant and winner of fighting events from Russia, Daria Punto. Fighting for the red corner, 25 years old, official height 166 centimeter, official weight 51 kilogram, personal record, four wins, one loss. Participant and winner of KOK Super Fights, representing Berkut Fight Club, Moldova, Nadezhda Kansi. Ring referee Suhan Yulian, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Fighters. Red corner. You're fighting KUK rules, so my command all the time. No clinching, no help. Shake your hands if you want to. Go to your corner, step back. Judge, judge, judge. First round, fight! Round one. And we are underway. The KOK World Grand Prix. Look at Puntus coming out fast and furious here in this opening round. Check out the long legs on Puntus. She can hit you from halfway across the ring. Kansi are built a little bit differently physically. A little bit shorter, more compact. Ooh, she just clocked her with that left hand right upside the head and Puntus feeling a little bit uncomfortable in there. This is going to be an interesting matchup of styles, I think, is Puntus, from what I've seen, has a, a very rich Muay Thai background. Kansi has seen her a number of occasions here at King of Kings. 
more traditional kickboxing style. So also has a, a, a wealth of other martial arts experience. Uh, I know she's been training some ground game as well. So ooh, got her again with the left. And there it is, landing with a high regularity with that left hand is Kansir, who's switching her stance up. Ooh, she ran right into that jab, though. Puntus has got a very long reach advantage. He's got very long limbs and a nice knee, a couple of them, buried into the bread basket of the Moldovan. This women's division is really starting to heat up here. See, maybe a little bit of blood in the nostrils of Kansir. As I said, we've got Esma Hassas, the fight queen from Holland via Morocco. She's at the top of the food chain right now. She won the very first ever KOK Women's World Grand Prix. And uh, waiting for her to get back from injury to get back in the mix of things. I think it's going to be a completely different landscape once she does make her return. It, which should be scheduled for some time in the near future, in 2018. Under 30 seconds now left in this opening round. Not a whole lot of steam behind that spinning back fist, nor that one. 10 second hammer goes down now. And it looks to me like Stop. Puntus finally starting Stop. to get the hang of those Stop. long Stop. limbs and getting more effective from a range at the end of round number one. Let's take a look at what went down in that opening round. Kansir was landing a couple of good shots upside the head of the Russian just like that one. But then as the round went on, it, I kind of noticed that Puntus was getting a lot more comfortable in there from a distance, using push kicks, using those legs to the body, using the jab. See if they make any changes here between rounds and which style will prevail. Second round. Second round. Round two, stop, and stop, stop, stop. Katsir coming out very aggressive Listen, here. Catching an ear fill from referee Fight. Julian Suhan. Saw Katsir's corner really trying to fire stop, up their stop, fighter. Stop. Second, they want her to come out and be a lot more aggressive from here Fight. on out. Puntus throwing the left and then moving to her left. Gets her with a knee on the inside. Pantsir brings the push kick up to the face. Both ladies hanging right in there and a, well, Referee had not calling for a stop yet, and Puntus let her have it. Stop! Fight! Nice push kick lands to the bread basket by Kansir. So does the left hand. Ooh, 
Nice shot there by the Russian as she caught the leg and then let her have it with the right. A lot of those kicks by Cancer now landing on the arms. Looks like Katsu has got something on her left eye. I don't know if it was, if it's blood or if it's something else, but it doesn't, could be blood. Doesn't seem to be bothering her though. That right hand might not be helping matters too much though. Coming up on 30 seconds now, left in round number two. Nice movement from the Russian. She likes to strike and then move out of dodge as quickly as possible. Stop, stop. Can't see her. Hit with the Fight. right hand and then kept moving forward. There's the reach of Puntus coming into play. You can see when she's stretched out with that leg. Nadezia Kansir can't even get anywhere near her. End of round two. Well, both ladies looked like they really wanted to mix it up once that second round opened. But then as it went on, it started to take a taxing kind of an effect on these ladies. I think we saw them slowing down just a bit. Cancer sitting down over in her corner, trying to get some oxygen into those lungs before we open up the third and final round as we take a look at uh, Pavel Zorovlev here at ringside in attendance. The reigning glory light heavyweight champion has fought a number of times here at KOK. And a touch final of gloves. Round. And we start round number three. Kansir comes out, throwing hard shots. Fight. Now, I don't think that was blood on the left eye of Kansir. I don't know what it was. I, I'd hate to say it was makeup. Stop. I think she was making, whoa. I wouldn't think they would wear makeup into a fight, but there was something on her left eye. Kansir took a, sh a pretty clean shot. Uh, just as she slipped. Well, these rounds have been very close. I have a feeling that this thing ends up going the distance. It, the way it's been going, the judges are going to have a, their hands full here. And it looks like the, the Russian, is, her hair has come loose. So this gives both ladies a little extra break. I don't know how much experience a guy has tying a ponytail, but doing the best he can. Time. Well, there you take a look at the eye of Cancer. That thing's definitely not bleeding. It's a little bit puffy. Crowd chanting, Nadezdia, Nadia, Nadia. That's the loudest the crowd's been all night. Half the time gone by now in this third and final round. Stop, stop. Do not hold with two hands. Fight. Right hand finds the mark from Kansir as Puntus turned her head temporarily. To get a win here, no matter how you get it, it's going to 
skyrocket their rankings in the 51 kilogram weight division. There's a lot of good fighters here, but Katsir is a huge draw in Moldova. A lot of people love to see her, so whenever she gets her hand raised, that makes a big, big wave in the ocean. I'd love to see another World Grand Prix tournament with the ladies, too. Throwing Katsir back in the mix. With a winner maybe getting the shot at Haas Haas. Not much time left on the clock. In fact, the clock has already disappeared, so you know what that means. Both ladies fighting very hard, right to the final bell. Stop, stop, stop it. Fight. Crowd still behind Cancio, oh. and that's it. Well, like I said, that, that's a close one. It's a hard for me to pick a winner here. Both ladies, almost like an equal amount of output. Maybe Cancer throwing a little bit more. Nobody really doing any very significant damage. No, no knockdowns. Nobody really uh, laying in some very telling, significant, fight-changing uh, shots. So this one's going to be hard. Somebody's going to leave this ring very disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Grand Prix 2017. Woman division, KOK Super Fight. After three rounds, by unanimous decision, the winner is... Red Corner, Nadezhda Kancir, Moldova. Kancir gets the job done, and she is right back in the hunt. As far as the title picture is concerned, at 51 kilos in the ladies' division, it's got to feel good to get your hand raised in your hometown. Nadia Kancir, victorious at King of Kings in Kishnia, Moldova. Up next, we go to 68 kilograms in the return of Maxim Raylene. 